I feel like I am losing it. I don't know what just happened. Work has gotten crazy. Life has gotten crazy. And I am in Mexico to unplug. But it's hard to unplug because I still have work. It's hard to unplug because I'm still building a business. <laughs> so there are things that just need to get done. And I have timelines that I'm working with, commitments that I'm working with. I'm also um, in this season of my life. I am super committed to my health. So I've had non-negotiables ever since the day I left Canada of the things that I do every single day that help me to become my healthier self help with my mental health all of that and for the last couple of days it feels like everything is unraveling that's just how it feels and that's the truth it feels like everything is unraveling it feels like i'm getting back into that like frantic state it feels like i'm losing my mind and i don't know why well I sort of do know why. Is the fan too loud? One second. I sort of do know why. I have been really focused on the what's. So I've been focused on what to do. I know that I'm supposed to do this, 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 this. And the list goes on and on. And that includes, as I said, like just me taking care of myself. It includes me um, following through on my responsibilities for work and all the things and people and projects that I have to manage. And then it includes me following through on this dream and vision that I know I am meant to fulfill, which is to help other people fulfill their ideas and bring it to life by helping them get to their why and building a plan. But guess what I've been forgetting? Since, I feel like for the last week and a half, I've been forgetting my why. So I've been so focused on the what that I have forgotten the why. And if you're focused on the what, but forget the why, you'll forget the how. Not even forget, you'll never find the how. So I know for a fact that once I switch my focus to the why, the how will come. The what is the most surface level thing. <laughs> like the what is so easy to decipher you don't need to do no digging to know what the what is right but you have to do digging to know the why and that's what will reveal the how so i've been focused so much on i'm supposed to walk a minimum of 10 10 000. i'll get there but i ain't there because i'm super busy i'm supposed to walk a minimum of six thousand steps every day i'm supposed to you know do follow my time blocking where my work is concerned and make sure that's done. And then I'm supposed to also follow my time blocking to where my business is concerned and make sure that's done. And I've been so focused on the what, 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 what. I forgot my why. And because of that, I've been going about it in a way that just does not feel good to my soul. It does not feel good to my mind. It does not feel good to my spirit. So my how has become a how that just isn't me. So, with all of that being said, <laughs> I'm taking a pause. I have only stepped. I won't even say walked, because I ain't walked nowhere. I walked from the bed to the kitchen to the bathroom to here. I have only taken 545 steps, according to my watch. And a part of me is like, go get your walking, go get your walking, go get your walking, go get your walking. And then there was another part of me that's like, oh, you don't need to walk today. But then I know that won't make me feel good. And this is why I tell you, you can't focus on the what. Just focus on the why and the how will come. So I'm thinking, hmm, how can I make my walk feel good? How I'm going to make my walk feel good is I'm not going to watch anything educational on my walk. I usually do that. But today, today we're just going to laugh on my walk, okay? And instead of watching something educational, I'm going to watch... <laughs> hold one well it's not playing 
YouTube premium, you ain't working. I'm gonna watch Bad Bistro. Can y'all see this? With Nella Rose, Philly, uh, I think his name is John, and Adiola. It's just pure jokes. That's what's gonna make me feel good in this moment, all right? So that's step one. We're still gonna get our walk in because when I think of my why, there's no way I cannot keep my promise to myself. But in order to make it enjoyable, I'm just gonna watch some feel good content. So that is step one into getting back into it. Getting my mind right again and sort of really disconnecting from all this chaos that seems to want to come up. Because the whole point of this travel journey, um, you know, I ain't even seeking nothing because I got everything I need because I got God, I got Jesus. So I'm not seeking anything. The entire purpose of this whole journey and this exploration is to experience life in a way that makes me feel good and provides ease. And it has not been given that for the last couple of days. So we're gonna get it right. So let's go walk, but let's do it in a way that makes us feel good. <laughs> uh, sorry, before we can go walk in a way that makes us feel good, so that way we are living up to our promises, I gotta shut that computer down and tell everybody peace. I still have 30 minutes to work, but I'm signing off early for my mental health. An invaluable lesson that I have learned um, since I've started this oops, since I've started this journey of traveling, yes, but just over the past year, is that taking care of yourself is literally a part of survival. So I know we have this saying of, oh, self care. Um, no, like we'll say it's okay to be selfish, right? And. I challenge that notion that even you taking care of yourself, we shouldn't even be calling it selfishness. And saying, hola, and saying that, oh, it's okay to be selfish. You're not being selfish. It's literally a part of your survival. If we look at the history of the human race, we've always had to take care of ourselves and no one was calling it self-care. Taking care of yourself was just a part of your survival. You not going out there when the lion is out there was a part of your survival because you gonna die. But it's just that in our day and age, our survival looks different. So back then, they didn't have to um, take mental health days and stand off of work <laughs> 30 minutes earlier because that was not a real issue for them, right? But in today's day and age, that's a survival mechanism for us. So don't ever feel bad about trying to survive for the times that you're living in. Take care of yourself. <laughs>